To balance this equation, barium hydroxide plus acetic acid, let's count the atoms up on both sides of the equation. Barium, we have one of those. We have one oxygen times the two, so two oxygens, plus we have these two here, total of four oxygen atoms. Hydrogens, two times the one, so two plus three plus the one here. That gives us six hydrogen atoms, and then carbons, one, two. On the product side of the equation, Barium, we have one of those. Oxygen, one here, plus two times the two, so that's four, five oxygen atoms. Hydrogens, two plus three times two, which is six, so we have eight. And then carbons, one, two times the two, that gives us four. I can see I have this CH3COO here, and then it repeats itself here. But on this side, I have two of them. So it looks like I could put a two as my coefficients. I know that would solve the carbons. And then we'll see what it does with the other elements. So we have one, two times the two. That gives us four. Carbon atoms are balanced. Let's update the oxygen and hydrogen. For the oxygen, we have one times two. So we have the two there plus one, two times two. So that's four. That gives us six oxygen atoms. Hydrogens, two times the one plus three, four times the two, that's eight. So we have 10 hydrogen atoms. So at this point, the bariums and the carbons, those are balanced. It's the oxygens and the hydrogens that we need to fix. And if I could just have one more oxygen and two more hydrogens, then the equation would be balanced. I can accomplish that by putting a two in front of the H2O. So let's update our oxygen and hydrogens. So for the oxygens, I have one times two, two of those, plus one, two times two, that's four. That gives me six oxygen atoms, so those are balanced. Hydrogens, two times two is four, plus three times two, that's six, four plus six equals 10, and we're done. This equation is balanced. The key with this is really to count things up very carefully. You have a lot of oxygen atoms, a lot of hydrogens, and some carbons, and they're spread out. That makes it difficult sometimes to count them up. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for BaOH2 plus CH3COOH. Thanks for watching.